Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm sure you guys read the title. I am going to be talking about my small business. It is a press on nails and it's very simple. They are not acrylic. They are just plastic press on nails and I personally hand make them however you guys want or whatever I have available that I've designed. I am a self-made um, entrepreneur. I am not a nail artist or a uh, nail tech however um, anybody else calls these nail techs but um, I wanted to just briefly talk about it about small business how it all started and it is a Q&A so so the first question I have was how did I start my business well during this pandemic um, I was laid off. I was working in downtown LA as a hostess inside a hotel and they had two restaurants and I was a hostess for both and sadly I was let go but I had money saved and I did not have an unemployment kick in yet when everything was going on so luckily I had money saved and I invested in creating a business and I was already wearing press on nails from I want to say a year from now I stopped going to the nail salon I was just getting upset with every time I would go I would not like my nails I didn't like how my nails uh, would come out I was never really um, I wouldn't like to complain um, I would just feel kind of bad to be honest but I just started, you know what, I'm just going to do my own nails and instead of spending like $50, $60 on just nails that I could probably do. So that's what really kind of got me triggered. I would always get compliments at my job like, oh my god, I love your nails. And I would let them know like, oh, I do them. I literally press on nails. And people would always, always trip out that they were press on nails because everyone just assumes they just pop off but in reality they are supposed to pop off because they're not supposed to last that long but they do help and it's very affordable and it's very easy and you know it's pretty fun I'm not gonna lie the next question what inspired me to do nails what inspired me to do nails was um, I've always wanted to have a business I just never knew what and I felt like it's a bittersweet of what's going on and I decided you know what why not start a little nail business and I did some research and I just went with it there was some good there was some bad but you learn from the whole process um, but I've always been inspired to be an entrepreneur and just have something that was called mine um, and I'm really enjoying it and I'm having fun with it the next question I have is am I careful during this pandemic and the answer is yes of course I am very careful I take everything serious um, pretty precautious on um, Anything I do, where I go, and who I go see, uh, I do believe that COVID is real and everyone is going to have their opinion on it and my belief is I do believe it and I do wear a mask, I wear gloves when it's necessary and I wash my hands, I, the way I package the nails, um, I am a certified homebody and I don't go anywhere. I literally stay home. I work from home. Um, so yeah, I prefer to just listen to what's going on. Um, wear my mask, be safe. And I try to stay mentally positive that, you know, we're gonna get through this and you guys are not alone. And if you guys ever want to talk to me about anything, like just comment down below and I'll be gladly to talk to you guys. I'm very friendly. Um, even though it's 
I get this a lot too when I started my business um, I only had like maybe 10 followers on Instagram and I would chit chat like if you're at a nail salon just you know talking about life and I'm here for you guys if you guys are ever interested in um, talking so hit me up and the next question where am I from? I was born in Long Beach, California, but I've lived in Pico Rivera, California my whole life. Um, I am 27 years old and still young, still learning, still growing. And I began to just start, you know, without even thinking or he being hesitant. I was hesitant in the beginning um, and I was just like, let's just see. <laughs> the next question is how did I get myself in the tea drama well I don't want to really talk about too much about it because I'm not about drama but that whole incident was um, I gave this youtuber some nails and I was a fan of hers and all I really wanted was to give her nails because she's not my first uh, influencer to give out nails um, but I just assumed that maybe out of her kindness of of her just shouting me out even when she just wore the nails um, I just felt that wasn't cool and um, yeah guys just it wasn't cool and I went to Pancho so shout out to Pancho he's a really cool guy I really appreciate him um, he shouted me out I reached out to him and yeah and that's how it all started and I'm sure you guys already uh, checked that video out so go ahead and check his video out I'll go ahead and um, put that link um, in the description and you guys can check it out so shout out to Pancho really cool dude um, if you guys haven't checked him out go subscribe to his channel really nice and I think those I'm gonna stop there because I don't want to give out too much and I'm going to be frequently doing these videos um, just talking about Fergie's, Fergie's nails and then I am also going to be vlogging about what I do and how I package my stuff, um, what I do personally in my life aside from Fergie's nails so you guys can get to know me a little bit more. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate every single one of you guys. Small business do matter and I am truly blessed of every single one of you guys for supporting me i know we are living in tough times but we got to stay positive we got to stay strong and i do have faith that we are gonna um, get out of this and don't worry you guys if you guys feel like it's the end of the world or it's just things are weird and you guys are not alone I um, wanted to give you guys a quick little Q&A and I hope you guys like this and don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you guys so much.